Hey everybody, I'm Josh on that sax, and today I will be doing an unboxing review on the Guard Designer Leather Alto Sax Case. Hope you enjoy. So I found this case at woodwindbrasswind.com, and they are currently having a big saxophone sale, so I couldn't pass up the deal. It's usually about 300 bucks, uh, saved a big chunk of change on it. So let's check it out. So here we are right here. Your seat, just in case. Is that loud enough? Oh. Let's get this out of here. So as you're gonna see, uh, the guard bags are a little different than your average case. Uh, I was going with a ProTech for the longest time, um, but it's just it's aged. <laughs> Um, so I gotta find something new. So one really unique thing that the uh, guard cases have is their suspension system. Um, so as you're gonna see once I open this guy up, they actually have uh, all these pieces that kind of fit in like a Velcro playing field so you can customize where the sax fits. It's uh, pretty neat and I've always wanted to see what it looks like up close, so let's find out. Super nervous that I'm gonna rip the uh, leather. Well, let's just uh, keep the cutting to a minimum. Yeah, so there you go. It's uh, genuine leather, two tone. You can see the tan and the brown. Um, definitely looks a little hipper than the average case, for sure. <laughs> so we have a tag right here that says the uh, mid bag suspension system inside holds the delicate parts of the instrument in mid air making it about 10 times safer on impact or drop. Yeah, not gonna test it, so don't expect any uh, test drops today, <laughs> FYI. Oh, nice little luggage tag too, it's pretty classy. Yeah, so this looks and feels really nice. Uh, you can tell there's serious craftsmanship that goes involved to the case, which makes me feel better about uh, spending this kind of price point on one. But um, as you can see, there's two options for handles. Um, one for the long way, and then the more standard route. Um, this is Velcro together, so you pop the Velcro off. You're obviously gonna need to do that if you're gonna wanna unzip. Why am I going over this stuff? It is so basic. Okay, let's get into some good stuff now. Yeah, so what I see here is we have some fasteners that are also added into where the straps are connected to the case for added security. The uh, stitching also seems really tight. Nothing seems loose as I'm grabbing it. Nothing is frayed or popped up that shows you that it's going to start ripping anytime soon. Um, yeah, less. <sighs> yeah, no, it looks good. Yeah, and I guess these zippers are supposed to be top of the line zippers according to the uh, review that they post on YouTube, so that's pretty cool. Uh, they feel great. Um, I know my ProTech one caught a lot, so that was frustrating. Then again, maybe it didn't catch 12 years ago. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. let's see what's inside these pockets. I know they have a bunch of goodies. Oh, no goodies. Nice solid pocket. You can feel the, yeah. So the pockets each have individual foam that it feels like inside for added protection if you're putting anything in here. Uh, so that's nice to too. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so what happens, I'll show you here. There's uh, two zippers, right? And so you pull both of these to open and you'll understand in a second, but there's a Velcro piece that it hinges on at the top. That covers over pretty good, so I'm not worried about it. Actually, there's a whole flap, so it definitely closes so that it's like climate controlled in there. Or not climate controlled, but keeping out the elements in the water. That's awesome. There are the goodies. <laughs> this is so cool. Awesome, okay. Looks to me like a mouthpiece neck pouch. Something that I also noticed as I was looking for alto cases, usually there's a neck, uh, like a place
place to store the neck, but for this case, the way it's suspended, I guess they just assume that you'd prefer to use um, something to hold your neck in and then place it in the bell or somewhere like that. Okay, so poncho. <laughs> Poncho for your leather bag in case it's uh, renting out and you're terrified of losing your investment and having a leather crack. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, and buckles for your backpack straps. Score. Oh, yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Let's zip it back up. <laughs> zipping it back up. We don't need to zip it back up. Okay, so this is the cool thing about the case. Um, you have all of these different pieces that are used to secure your saxophone into place. Um, and I do mean a lot. There's one that goes on the bottom to protect the bottom of the bell. Looks like one that goes up near the octave key. And then... I'll need one that goes around the center, which I'm assuming is going to protect most of the rods. And this bad boy goes inside the bell to keep it nice and secure. And they really do stay in, in place. Yeah. So, it, definitely the Velcro attaches to this, but whatever this material is, it does not feel abrasive or anything. I'm not worried about it messing with my horn. Um, so that's, that's cool too. Yeah, but it pops right open. Whoop, just like that. Okay, so obviously we need to take off the neck. Put that bad boy over here. Actually, we'll do this right. Mouthpiece, or there we go. Got my neck cap. Okay, so I'm looking around. Wow, it is really slim in there. That's insane. No kidding. Okay, yeah, so this is pretty cool. Honestly, I, I wouldn't even know where you need to move to make it be any more secure than it already is. It seems like there's a pretty wide margin of error. The each, each piece of foam covers a really good amount. So you're really, you're really cushioning everything in. This is so cool. Definitely takes getting used to pulling those in and out, but uh, okay. So all three of these go in. Now I did watch the video, so I there is this one thing you don't just magically guess where it goes here. Yeah, what you're gonna do is you place this directly in your bell to start with, which could be annoying because I always have my donut mute in there, but I'll worry about that later. Okay, so this just cones right in. So your cone places right in, and when you close it, voila, pops in and out every time. Let's see how it zips up. Whoa, feels snug. Velcro right there. Yeah. So it is taut, like the bell is pushing right up against the or the spot right up here. It's really flush with where the leather is. Definitely wanted to clear this up. The bell is not pushed up against the case. 
it's the cone that's placed in the bell. So the bell is completely secure and distant from the actual case. Also, it's kind of an illusion. Um, I should show this now. <laughs> I guess there's a plate that's placed in here that's about two millimeters thick and it's like a some sort of metal brace plate uh, that's used for added protection and honestly once it's zipped up it feels like like a regular gig, gig bag there's no weird insecure flimsiness that I'm like nervous about yeah that's insane. This is so cool. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> yeah, no. That's crazy. I'm like not worried about it at all. That's insane. <laughs> but it really, I mean, in comparison, it's about the same size. Uh, yeah, they're like identical. Actually, I think this might even be lighter. <laughs> awesome, so now that the uh, sax is stowed away inside, let's see what else we can stow away in the case. fits perfectly. Not worried about it getting scratched up or dinged. I don't know what side I prefer. I've never actually had my neck not directly next to my alto, so this is going to be a little getting used to for sure. Um, but it fits, it slides right in nice and snug. Definitely want to keep in mind that there's something really important in here. <laughs> so, but it does feel feels like it's protected. I'm not super nervous. Okay, so bare essentials, right? Let's see. Poncho. Ligature. One mouthpiece. Two mouthpiece. Three mouthpiece, four mouthpiece, neck, neck, okay, donut, and the neck strap. Okay, so that's chock full. But I'm less worried about my neck with all that stuff in there, for sure. Let's see. A couple reed cases. So I could fit two reed cases in this guy. Just didn't want it to get any tighter. But I need my reed geek. And my emergency sandpaper. So I guess I'll need a Ziploc bag or something to fit this in. Okay. So there's definitely still a little bit of space. I didn't want it super taut, especially since it's leather. Um, I'll wait until it gets a little worn in before I start really trying to fit random stuff in. Okay. Look at that. So that's everything that's usually in my case. Um, Probably don't need four mouthpieces. I don't really know why I do that, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so just for some reference, let's see what we got in here. There you go. 
so it fits my sax and all of this uh, extra, the, all these necessities, obviously, the necessities. 100% just put all that stuff back in. <laughs> Let's see how these straps hold up. Oh, nice. Okay. A little padding. Same level of stitching. It's not like they just got it from some random spot. So that's nice. You still have the tan leather added on top of the straps. The buckles are plastic, but everything feels legit. Yeah, this feels good, for sure. Secure, nothing's really rattling around. Yeah. What I was curious was, yeah, you can totally just use one. So you don't need to be a total nerd and use two at once, right? And honestly, aren't really that in the way either. Oh, look at this. If you're not up for using them, but you don't want to actually take the time to put them away, just sit in like that. Yeah, so that's nice. You don't necessarily have to take the time to put them away every time. So what happens if it's raining? What happens if it's raining with this giant new leather bag? Let's check out the poncho. Oh, nice little logo, it's stitched on. And I'm gonna save you the awkwardness of watching me not put this on for the next five minutes. Turns out they sent me the wrong poncho bag, so uh, hopefully they're gonna send me a new one in the mail, ASAP. There we go, there we go. Yeah, it feels really secure in there, honestly. There you go. Yeah, so it's really not a huge hassle. Closes back down, you can just put everything Main compartment, yeah. Yeah, still have easy access to everything. Yo, it's solid. I'm into it. This is cool. Awesome. Yeah. Any questions that I didn't answer? Yeah, just let me know.